In Ghana, a chunk of cooking is done with wormwood. The problem is, for many people, this would either cost them their health or a large amount of money treating diseases or for the country at large, a depleted forest reserve. The sector is largely represented by the Ghana Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves and Fuels, GACO, which involves players mainly in the fuel wood, charcoal and LPG sectors. But GACO has institutional challenges that hinders the delivery of its objectives. The charcoal and wood stove market in general is hindered by a lack of access to finance and low levels of innovation. Today and here, we talk about clean cooking. At first sight, it seems to be a very simple and small issue. But as all of us know, I think, it's a very complicated issue. It is for this reason that SNV Ghana is pioneering the Clean Cooking Ghana project, essentially seeking to offer strategic support to the clean cooking sector in the country. I'm very much happy to be part of this workshop as it hopefully bring, let's say, new momentum to the clean cooking sector in Ghana. As SMV, we have experiences on clean cooking in around 25 countries around the world. Not only in biogas, but also in biomass clean cook stoves. Um, these experiences are very useful to learn also for Ghana. The inception workshop for the project drew participants from Ghana's health sector, ministries of energy, petroleum, academia, non-governmental organizations, and more. GACO executives believe that we can solve our numerous environmental challenges with clean cook stoves and fuels. GACO in the past few years have, gone, have had its own challenges. But today we are very happy that SNV, RVO, GAC have been behind us to support us grow strong as an organization. And I'd like to say that by the commitment of these partners, this is, we've organized numerous annual general meeting. And this is the third election we are going to organize. The project is aimed at supporting the government's effort to ensure about 2 million improved biomass stoves are used in homes while attaining a 50% penetration of cooking with liquefied petroleum gas LPG by 2020 in both urban and rural areas. I don't know how to cook, but I know how to eat. And therefore, <laughs> therefore, if somebody, if somebody cooks for me, <laughs> I enjoy my, you know, you can imagine. And so in order to do that, and do that so that it, it's not done at the expense of the one who is cooking. It is important that we look at the, you know, the, the clean cooking business that we do to avoid all this because, you know, statistics tell us that we have about 7.7% of the uh, world population dies because of, uh, you know, this kind of uh, health hazards related to cooking. The project is under three components. First, strengthening GACO's administration and operations. Second, to diversify GACO's membership and scope. And three, to develop a market innovation facility. The CCG project would support GACO to strengthen its structures and to spread its operations further deep into Ghana's rural areas to reach more consumers of fuel. This was as of 2011, but it doesn't change much. You notice that as much as 46% of total energy we use here is from firewood. 9.2 is coming from charcoal. In fact, if you take charcoal and firewood together, it is more than all the akosombos and the ponds and the abuaji plants and all the petroleum products that are imported by the BDCs, etc., in terms of quantum of energy. 
we consume more charcoal and firewood than any of the others. This is a fact, and it still remains a fact. The project will diversify GACO's membership and school. It is structured into components with the first component supporting GACO with key staff to deliver a strategic plan with a sufficient financial plan to make it deliver on its core mandate. The LPG promotion program started as far back as 1990. At the time, access was around 0.8%. As of 2010, according to the Ghana Statistical Service Department, access rose to 18.2. Today, I understand is somewhere over 25%. Various contributors at the day's event showed more concern over the high level of taxes bedeviling the industry, especially LPG dealers. If the person hasn't got the money, he's not capable of buying improved cook stove, whether wood, or charcoal. We can move a little bit from uh, uh, somehow improve, and then when they get used to it, now they've driven uh, Volkswagen, um, and they've now got the appetite, so they can buy Mercedes. So we start from there and we move forward, but we cannot just go there and say, hey, you must buy this because it's this and that. We should start somewhere so that if the appetite is there, we can move further. Now let's make the noise. Cook stove, cook stove, cook stove. Now the whole country says we are moving to use the cook stoves. The next problem is where are the stoves? Now let's look back to those who manufacture the stoves, the manufacturers. They are at a stack. Man and man is here, cook clean is here, others are here. The tax on importation of raw materials for the stove is held for them. For many others, the concern was how to penetrate hard-to-reach communities in Ghana where cooking is still predominantly done on wood, for which almost no improved cook stoves are marketed, and where the rapid penetration of LPG, despite it being a policy initiative, is likely to face many barriers. I think students should be added to the platform whereby um, research work will be undertaken by the student because we have innovative students on campus in the university who engineering students who are very innovative and regarding to cook stoves they bring up designs which, which are very innovative and we have some in our setting in our lab which have become something else in the lab and when when these stoves are taken up and sold or sent to the villages our women are going to take it up and use it very efficiently and effectively. Other suggestions were for GACO to open its doors to make it more accessible for industry players who are not yet members. It's actually great to see a lot of men in, in a forum that is based on cooking. And for me, it also um, throws a lot of light of um, how important uh, men also see the cooking sector. We identify that there is a need for us to increase access to improved cook stoves. A lot of work has been done in promoting charcoal stoves, but very little has been done for our rural population. With a three-year project kicking off, the story of Ghana's cooking sector will not be the same. It will take sustained effort to get this initiative to work. <laughs>